She's got two. Her front one's hung too, oh. Kevin. He didn't have. Kevin. Hey, Kevin, what are you doing? Hey, I got your You got them all? All right. All right, we're on the way. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, we'll see Kevin you Kevin the catcher. Kevin, Kevin, Catchy the Kevin. catcher's on it. Catching Kevin. On it, Kev. Okay, bye. Got him. Got him. Kevin's always on it. We're driving past the bison over here. Oh, look at all of them. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, you 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 there's the jumpers bull right there. 254, straight from the Ponderosa. First bison ever born at the Ponderosa, right there. Nice yearling bull. We're gonna get them all worked today, knock it out. Hope you guys are ready for it. You're good. Everything's okay. rolling. All right, here we go. All right, guys. Welcome back. Here we go. Who wants to go? You may try to get them all. It's all right, Kevin. Five sixty. Okay. Two fifty five bull. Yeah, that's not the big one. Uh-uh. All right, hold on. Let's so we've got... How many cc's did you have in that first one? Five. Five? Five. How much you, how much you weigh? Five, sixty. All right, now hold on before you turn them loose. All right, we got one. We got, okay, hold on, let's move up. Let's move up there. Good. Kevin, I'm making catch these four. Huh? I can't see.
Let me see if I can catch these four, and I'll pin them up right here. What, in the slide? Yeah, so if you want to keep them there, right. and I'll shut this one. Just leave them, they're calm. Now this bull can go out. Okay, you can let him out. Are they pretty chill, Cole? Who, is this a heifer? How much is Kevin? 670, wasn't it? Seven seventy. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. I'm ready, Kevin. No, I don't know. Who should? Yeah, she's. She's. I brought. A, I brought over with them. Yes. Yeah. So what do you want to do with her? Well, we'll come back and catch her if that guy wants her. I told. I told him I'd sell him some. But. but uh, or we can sell them in the sale. That's what I was asking. If you wanted to serve her out somewhere, or even in with the female. I mean, we could sell her. I don't care. I don't need them. Uh, you want, well, if you want to sell her, let's go and just turn her back. And put her at that cow? Uh, huh? Are you thinking about taking her to the sale? Yeah, I can. Well, put her in there with them, uh, put her in there with them three bulls. Which yeah. ones? Oh. I don't know. She won't be pregnant. She won't be exposed no, either. She's open. She'll be an open two-year-old heifer. I'd sell it to that other guy. Okay. That's, That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll sell it to that one guy. She's big. Yeah, she is. Should have swung that open to somebody. Yeah. Uh, she's, uh, I just didn't want to get kicked. Did that bull go out? Yeah, he went. Okay, who's next? Uh, don't have anything in no, there. we got to run some up. All right. How, how many is in there, Dusty? There's three. There's three? Yeah. One of these is that big bull. They don't want to go. Oh, don't go backwards on me. <clears throat> Come on. Do we have any yeah, there's it's over there by the gate exit gate. Here he comes. One more, Kevin. Okay, now open that back up, Kevin. No, you're good. Okay, here comes the second one. He's trying to get in there. Got it. They're, they're calm. They're calm. 736. That big, that bull. He needs to go. That's how much he weighs? Yep. This one? Yep. It's, now it's on four six. Oh, his foot must be off. Okay, write it down. Did you get his number? Oh, yeah, his back foot's off. Huh? What number? He's at... Uh, Two five three. Is he, is he so he's a he's a last year's baby. Yeah, he's last year's baby. Oh, here, Kevin. Uh. Hold on. Uh, hold on. 
Cole. Cole, can you really set? Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is him. I'm gonna swing this to you. Can you, can you, yeah, you're, yeah. No, oh yeah, go ahead and latch that. Here, I'll get it. And then just stand there, Cole, and I'll uh, swing it to you. Ready? Yeah, that's where he needs to be, Kevin. Dunbar? He looks like Dunbar. He looks like a good old Dunbar. He, he <laughs> He's going with some older bulls. He can get edumacation. Huh? You already got weight on this one? Yeah, I don't know the number. Hold on. This little bull is. He doesn't have. You already, you already got the weight on the bull? It's kind of blank. I can't see it. Yeah. It's a bull. Yeah. Yeah. I can't see his number. Two thirty-two. He weighed six something. Yeah, it is. Six thirty-four. Oh, this is uh, Crazy Eyes. Her first one. That, uh, remember? Oh, it is. This is her little bull. Mm -hmm. turning, is? He's turning back. He's going back. Thirty-two. Out. He's going back out the big pack. Yeah. Hold on, buddy. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I did. What'd you say, Marissa? What's her weight? Uh, she's 680, but she's uh, she's a two-year. Oh, right? yeah. How, 680? Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know what you, are you, I guess turn her out. Okay. I'm ready when you are, Kevin. Yeah, I'll do that for Kevin. I don't know actually. 
Texas No, well, the 32 was, the 54 is, the rest are ours. Okay, you raise this one then? Mm-hmm. Should be. Peaches. Could be. It's hard on some of them. I, I didn't. It's hard to, you know, when, when they all look the same when they go in there. <laughs> so it's hard to get numbers, huh? Peaches is a 35. And I tried to match them up on the ones I knew, like 32 and 54. You could tell the size difference between them versus the late borns. Or dark undercoat, that looks. Yeah. Or kit. So it's hard to match when we're doing our tags. It'd be nice if you could take the offspring and match uh, the parent, but it's very hard to do once you get them all together. You can look at the pasture and say, that one goes with her, that one goes with her, or he goes with her. But when you get them all up there, it's hard. Marissa's new hoodie, love it. She did a good job. Check it out on our website so you can support what we do here. Okay, all right, I'm gonna draw. It's right there. Is there one in there? Yeah. No. There goes one. Which one is that? It's a little one. Marissa, if you walk through this little... There it goes. Got it. 536 is the weight. Two five four. This is that other two five four that I duplicated. Yeah. But it's a heifer. Two five four, and she weighs five thirty two. So this is a year. Uh huh. So this is a yearling. Okay. Uh. All right, Kevin. We're good. No, we're not. Now we are. Like a nice stroll in the park. Pretty, pretty timid, timid. Five. That one got in the cockaburrs. Yeah. Oh, hold on before we turn around. Too, too bad we don't have a curry cone. That's right. A what? A curry cone? Yeah. A curry cone. She's tame. You know them cockaburrs? <laughs> yeah. Poor thing. Take advantage while you're in the shoot. Yep, get them off her face. That's a bunch of them. Huh? Yeah. That's supposed to be going the job. What? Oh, she was still. She was still squeezed. My bad. She was like, Ugh, get me out. She's all pokey. Is she okay? Yeah, she's all right. 
Look, they didn't even go far. They're, st they're still hanging out right here. Hmm. Bigger one? Oh, in here? Huh? Okay. Hold on. Oh, easy. I left it too far open. Let go? No. What's wrong? She got a front she got a front foot hung underneath it. She did. Where at Kevin? The front foot's hung underneath it. Underneath the oh. Her back foot is. Here, shoot her real quick if you can. Here I'll work on her. Huh? Her foot, her foot, I know. She's trying to get her foot out. Yeah, her foot, that bottom foot's hung. That's where her problem is. I know, but when, I would shut that crash gate, hon. Can you go sit? Yeah, needs that. Well, Kevin, if, if we open this, will it release her foot? It's oh, oh my God. Oh, I'm just trying to keep her still. It is wedged. If she, if we open that, we can't open this. If we open it, she's gonna to try to jump out. Yeah. We can't open this. Yeah. Uh, is there a pry bar? Well, she can't get out, Marissa. She, her shoulders won't fit this through. This one, Dusty. It's hung. What? This one. That one's hung. The other one's No. Hung. No, she's got, she's got two. Her front one's hung, too, Both Kevin. Her oh, her front's hung, too? Yeah. Oh, man. Can you, hey, undo that. Can you undo that bolt at the bottom of that crack gate? It'll loosen it enough where she might be able to get it out. There's one right here. <sighs> But I think the front, is the front one hung too? Yeah, both of them are. Do you see that nut that I'm talking about right there? If you loosen this on that front side, you might be able to get What nut are you talking right about? I don't know if you can get it on Well, no, that's that's bolted to the frame. Yeah. I know, but you might be able to loosen it enough to get it to where it... Don't hook me, sugar. Kevin, she like needs to stand up almost. Huh? Yeah, that's what. Yeah, she needs to go up. Yeah. But I'm seeing another foot. Are their both back feet stuck? Is that Is what's that wrong? Back feet or front feet? I can't tell. I got her horns. Kevin, if we if we shut the crash gate and open this up, it forces her to go backwards. Do you think she would come back? You can try. Maybe she can get it out herself.
even get it in there? It just slips in there perfect when he does. Ah, there okay. we go. We got it. Piece of flat metal there. Something. Well, that's it. Yeah, I need something there. Okay. Yeah. You got that? I got this. This little heifer obviously went through a little hard time being stuck inside the squeeze chute, which rarely happens, but has happened before. Something we need to work on. Causes the animal to be stressed out a little bit. In most cases, Animals can die in this situation, but because we're around our animals and they have some adversity and toughness to handle these situations, she's going to be just fine. But we just have to give her a little time to come back to her senses. When they're that young and they're with a normal aged yearling, they get kind of shoved down to the side for that pecking order. So it's Kevin's idea to uh, smart to take her and put her with some bull calves that we have over here right now so she's not competing with the big ones that are weighing five, six, seven hundred pounds and she weighs 300, yeah. So, anyways. Next. Just one is all we got left? Oh, she's turning around. You'll have to run her all the way back through probably. Here, hold on, hon. We don't want them to go in there backwards. Okay, now turn, now send her back. Yeah. Yeah, we're, let me shut this some. Okay, Kevin. Yeah, 252, two, already got our weight. I already, I already wrote everything down. Oh. 252. Two, Two five two. Huh? Uh, Sorry, Cole. <laughs> There's a lot of moving parts around here. <laughs> Yearling. Is she the last one? Okay, this is little Nora. We're gonna put her in here with this other yearling. That just got hurt. It's late born with these calves. Uh. 
lock these off real quick. Oh, no, sorry. Sorry. Probably flows. Yeah. Flows is the first one. This is the one. Yeah. Looks just like her mom. How much did she weigh? Huh? 299 or 298. Hi, girlie. There you go. We'll tell, we'll tell your mom you said, hey. Over here living where mama was raised. Did you pull that up? Uh... Well, I'll pull, I'm pulling that in shag. Oh, th there was a big chunk. Well, somebody. Souvenir. Somebody will want this from her. Oh, yeah. Come on, Need some groceries. <laughs> He's down, son. He had nose. Yep. Hold on. We get some I was just trying to keep him out of this hole. You're going whenever. Okay, so we just worked our 10 yearlings. So those yearlings, some of them were actually born here. And then uh, we took to the Ponderosa and we had them all there. We, we took all those calves together. I guess it'd be our 22 calves. And then there was a couple of 21 yearlings in there. Anyways, I brought them over here this summer to give us a little bit more grazing room. This is the original place here, the OG, uh, the Lynch property, where we started at. And none of our original animals that we started with are here anymore. They're all at the Ponderosa. So that's Dunbar, Eleanor, Peaches, Bellstar. Those are my core that we started with. And so whenever um, we did all that, those animals have been here. So those are the animals that we just worked. But you see right back here, there are some big pretty bulls back here so here's a lot of some of the portion of our animals you know I get asked this question are there animals still here at the uh, OG and of course I just talked about that but also part of the animals that are here is part of our productive program which is our meat side of things and so there's a reason why you don't see them at all uh, I don't talk about them that much I don't film them at all um, I don't give them names and so I don't get attached to them I'm kind of soft-hearted when it comes to those sort of things um, about using the bison and taking on the full health benefits of raising bison and starting and, and having a meat line that Marissa and I have so um, there's some of them right here there's about a couple yearling bulls and some two-year-old bulls in here and so they're part of our uh, basically just the meat side of things and so I know I don't talk about them that much but there is a reason like I just said why I don't talk about them that much and we don't film them really because they're all part of the business um, now there is a whole nother business side to ranching besides our genetic herds our our breeding stock herds which are all mostly at the Ponderosa and so that's completely different than the productive side of it and your meat side of it. So Kevin, we're so fortunate to have an awesome 
person like Kevin managing these animals and taking care of them on a daily basis. He works a full-time job and then in the mornings and the evenings he's taking care of these animals and even my mom when Kevin's too busy or something my mom's jumping in there and helping too so it's a, it's a family thing and then I get over here every now and then I don't come over here near as much as the time that Marissa and I spend at the Ponderosa there's a lot more animals there and there's a lot more going on we're trying to finish the barn and, and all those things that's our merchandise is there so that's where we spend most of our time and then we're so fortunate to have Kevin here taking care care of these animals. Marissa and I talk about all the time to people is when you start with bison, whether you start with calves or yearlings, you know, it takes a long time to get bison to a point to where they're processing age. And so we try to hit that 1,000, 1,100, even 1,200 um, pound mark, which are basically two to three year old bulls for that processing time frame, which which is where we get our jerky, which is prime cuts from the inside rounds and stuff. Jerky, our sticks, and then our steaks and ground burgers, all that is put in from these animals here. But it takes a while to get that. Steers, you know, the beef side of things, you can get there a whole lot quicker than you can with the bison. Uh, it takes bison up to two years to get to that age. It can take, you know, steers half of that sometimes. So that's why, you know, people wonder why bison is so much more expensive. Um, it takes longer than steers to get there. It takes longer than beef to get there. And plus it's a very lean meat. It's a very healthy meat. It's lower, it's low in cholesterol. Matter of fact, it's lower in cholesterol and fat than chicken. Um, it's high in fiber very high in protein. I think it's second highest, one of the second highest proteins compared to elk, I think is at the top um, of it, deer and elk and bison. So a lot of good health benefits to it, which is why we promote it. And plus, as a business side, you know, you have to make some money. You got to pay the bills and and, and here's the crazy thing, and I always reference to Ted Turner on this, you've got to eat bison to promote bison. And I know you got to stop and think about that, but we, we always think about that. If we want more bison, you got to consume it. And it, it enables producers like myself, small producers, and even larger producers to be able to fund your operation and raise these amazing animals so you can pay your bills. And it, it promotes them uh, so people can eat a healthy, healthy source of meat and protein. Y'all are low on jerky right now Low on we jerky. just get process, a couple process so we did so back in stock soon because we are a smaller operation i mean it's pretty much me kevin and marissa that handle the bison and that do the do those operations and my mom sells it in sulfur too as well and we ship it online we ship the meat online we ship our jerky online so we don't have a whole lot of animals we want to get to that point but you're looking at some that we, we may not even use until next year, um, 2024. But what I was gonna say is we got some new sticks coming. We've created a new stick line. So Marissa and I are super excited about that. We're gonna have an original flavor and a honey barbecue again, but it's gonna be a new stick. And we love, um, we love it so far because we've had some of it, uh, but we'll have that too. You know, it, there's great ways to support us and help us, you know, put full effort um, into raising these animals, not just the productive side, but our breeding stock, which is Dunbar and Big Joe and all those awesome females that we have at the Ponderosa. You can help support us and, and all those things that we do to help this animal and promote this animal and run a small town, local uh, family business is uh, you can purchase things from our you know merchandise this has got hay all over it but this is one of my new favorite hoodies marissa created she's created a whole bunch of new merchandise and it's not just clothing there's lots of different options out there on our website and marissa has taken it on and done a great job with it and she uh she does even more of that i mean she's out in the pasture with me i mean she's feeding cubes she's helping me do a bunch of random stuff that i drag her into and she enjoys uh she enjoys most of it, but she's done a really good job with this. And so we're excited about some of our new products coming and got some new meat products too, as well. We're gonna tell you about some pre-made things like maybe like chili. So yeah, we got some new stuff coming around the corner. Yeah. Next big thing. All right. 
This was just the uh, warm up basically is working 10 yearlings kind of, you know, knocking off that rust a little bit between all of us, <laughs> me and Cole, Marissa and Kevin, because tomorrow, which the next video you'll see, which will be Sunday, December 10th, we are going to work our, all of our animals at the Ponderosa. So Big Joe, uh, Dunbar, Haas, all those females, I think there's Man, there's like a, a 41 adults, I think, and then there's 13 calves. So there's there's a lot of animals over there we gotta work. So that's the next thing. Hope you guys are ready for it. Always, it's exciting. Doc will bring a system down, state of the art, hydraulic squeeze chute, and um, we'll work the animals and get them taken care of for fall 2023. Yep, be fun. We have all of our friends and family. You know what day it is, Cole? Huh? You know what day it is? Uh-uh. You can film. Yeah, I'm filming. Oh, we are? Sure. It? Yeah. It's our anniversary. Oh, look at that. Tell you what. And you get to work some bison. I, we got to work some bison together. Right it was there on the anniversary. It was great. It was great. Yep. <laughs> Tell you what. Yeah. Cole's help. <laughs> Kevin. All hang out together. Kevin did most of the work today. Yeah, he did. He was busy. Kevin caught him. He ran around and did all that. Marissa was the gate queen though a little bit, or the, the sliding gate queen. Smidge. It's you weren't you weren't as uh I wasn't as what? Stressed out, were you? No, because they were way different. Ran away once. Yeah, when that one got locked up in whatever and I thought it was gonna come back in there, I said <laughs> At least they're only yearlings too. Yes. It's not like we were working what we normally do. No, it's less stress for sure. The adults, it's a it's a ladder bangs and a lot more adrenaline with them we I guess we just worked how many were there 10 it's 10 of them mm -hmm. yeah worked out good what Kevin just brought in is our uh, calf catcher that's what we call it it's really just a creeper gate like you would put on a a uh, creep feeder that sort of design but we made it a gate and you can latch the at the ends of it and uh, that's how we're gonna catch our late born calves at the Ponderosa. That's the next thing. So, well, it's not the next thing. We gotta go work those animals, but half of those babies were born super late, so we're not gonna wean them yet. So that's why we need that over there. We'll catch them, hopefully. Works out if you have a split calving season, you get to use it over here for yeah. to happen. It, over there, <laughs> I know, but. I um, uh, really need to take it and try to see if we can catch the calves. Yeah. I know you think that that's not gonna happen, but. It probably won't, but if we could catch them t today or before tomorrow working, that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. I know, it probably won't happen. Yeah, got busy and didn't get around to it, but we'll see how it goes.